Jalen Hurts. He was one of those guys that I missed. Jalen Hurts is not a top five quarterback to me. Jalen Hurts was third in interceptions last year. And to me, he's big because of where he plays, not necessarily because of his play. Jalen Hurts has not done anything that has shown me over the years that, oh, this guy is the best quarterback in the league. He's not top 10 in passing. He throws multiple interceptions game after game and season after season. He's been sitting in that top five, top seven range of interceptions for the previous few years. So I can't put Jalen Hurts up there as a top five quarterback when he has not been performing. It's the city of Philadelphia and the Eagles as a whole that's been performing. And because Jalen Hurts is the quarterback for a team like the Eagles, that's why he gets so much recognition. It's not because of his play. So Jalen Hurts, absolutely not. Not a top five quarterback. Got to leave him out of that conversation. Another guy who was tough and people are going to complain about, Josh Allen. Josh Allen is not a top five quarterback. Very inaccurate at times and very inconsistent at times. Yes, he plays very well at times as well. He can run the ball. For a white guy, you know, hey, that's good. <laughs> you don't see too many white quarterbacks running the ball and getting where they got to go. But I I'll give him credit. Josh Allen, he gets to where he got to go. I mean, he makes good plays. Uh, he's a great quarterback. Not saying he's bad. But it's just to be in that top five conversation, I need to see consistency and I need to see your timing with your receivers on par and I need to see it clicking or at least give me something. But Josh Allen, I think he's been mad overrated for the previous few years and there was multiple games where it's shown that he was overrated.